What's going on, YouTube? It's KG. We back. I'm gonna call this episode Urban Solar. So this is my little DIY off-grid solar panel backup thingamajiggy. Um, it consists of two 200 watt New Era power panels, which kind of suck. 200 watts. You see the specs right there. I got them wired up in parallel. This is all temporary. It's not up to code yet. This is just a test. We had a hurricane coming and I wanted to see if I could run my refrigerator just in case the power went out. So we got the two panels in parallel. I'm using a direct TV satellite mount so I can actually position this and track the sun. I'm gonna be purchasing a linear actuator and I'm gonna be attaching it here so I could do this and control it from inside. I could also adjust the skew. I got a pole in the ground, um, dug a hole about a foot and a half down. Concrete, two bags of cement, and this, this, this post and this fence thing just worked out perfectly. It's actually riding on that, and it's so fucking smooth, no bearing, no nothing. Oh, and as soon as I said that, it stopped acting smooth. <laughs> but I had another bushing, a little bushing thing in there. I'm going to make it work, don't worry. Um, linear actuator video coming soon. So I got the power coming in from here and going down into an EcoFlow battery bank. Goes right there, goes into the window. Let me show you how the front of the panels look. I try to position them so there's no shade or as little as shade as possible. And yeah, right now I'm pulling down 150 watts. Um, some voltage loss and some amperage loss in the cable. It's going 50 feet. And I need to upgrade this cable. It's 14 gauge. Ideally, I think I want to get 10 gauge. So, you know, you position it manually for now. Let's go check the inside folks so we are on the inside this is the extension cable it's temporarily running a solar system so this is my entire desktop setup computer monitor speaker lights and it's running the modem um router and a lamp let's see if i can turn this on so i have the ecoflow river and this unit is 288 watt hours of battery storage. I have 143 watts of solar coming in and I'm using 83 watts out. It's peaking at maybe 100 out. So right now this battery is 100% full of those two solar panels and it's about one in the afternoon. So this little cheap setup you can get one of these for about 300 bucks each solar panel outside is roughly 200 bucks get some wire diy in an emergency off-grid situation you got yourself a nice little battery backup this thing is able to run my refrigerator for about seven hours six hours on just battery alone so in a pinch this is cool i will be actually purchasing the bigger ecoflow um delta in a couple days just because i like to have that extra cushion of battery and that one could take more solar input i'm gonna be up upgrading the solar tracker and making it so it turns and putting some bigger panels stay tuned subscribe like all these things and yeah diy